In this lesson, we're going to learn how to take our bridge design that we just created in Autodesk Inventor, and we're going to include our balsa wood members on that bridge design. To do this, we have to do it inside of an assembly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Autodesk Inventor to start a new file, but this time instead of creating a part, we're actually going to be creating an assembly. So you go up here and choose this little menu item and choose assembly and it's going to open up a new assembly file and in that we're going to place our bridge design so this is our only file that we've got right now so it pops it right open and when we go to place this we want to right click on the Z um, blue dot and it's going to give us this menu and we want to place grounded at origin so we're going to choose that um, little menu item. And when we do, you'll see that it clicks it automatically into um, a perspective view. So um, now you can place multiple trusses on this assembly, but we're not going to do that. We don't actually need to make a full 3D model of our bridge with cross members and road decks or anything like that. The only thing that we're actually creating for this lesson is the actual truss with the balsa wood members on it. So we don't need a second truss, so we're going to hit escape. And that is going to leave our bridge design as an assembly. Now, after we have this here, we need to go up here to our menu and we're going to choose design. And in the design, we're going to choose the one directly down from that called Insert Frame Members. And it tells us, obviously, that we need to save our assembly document. So we're going to save this as Assembly 1 IAM. So that's an inventor assembly. Um, the bridge design is actually saved as an inventor part. So we're using this as an inventor assembly. Now, when we open this, um, as an insert frame, it's going to give us options as to what material members we're going to be using. And we're going to be using the ANSI standard. Um, we're going to be using the ANSI AISC, but we're not going to be using the rectangular. We're going to go down here and find the AISC square flat bar steel. Now, this is the only material that I found in Autodesk Inventor's standard libraries that comes as 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square stock. Now another menu item that we can select is the actual material. So we can go down here and instead of using steel we can actually choose wood. But because balsa wood is not in our uh, library we're just going to choose birch as the actual material and we're going to leave the appearance as material. Then we need to highlight the entire bridge and it's going to place all of those bridge members on center of all of the drawing lines that we created as the inventor part. So after we do that, we click apply, we click OK for the create new frame and here's all of the different members that it created in that framing system. So it takes a second for it to work its way through this, and then boom, there is our balsa wood design. Now we don't need this menu open anymore, so we're gonna um, move that out of the way. And we're gonna view this from a front view, and we're going to zoom all so that we can see it a little bit closer. Now one of the things that you're gonna notice is that the joints on the perimeter have little gaps on them and that's because this line was drawn and when you put the member that's one eighth of an inch on center the corner of it is going to be one sixteenth of an inch down and it's not going to necessarily line up with this member that was one eighth of an inch on center so it's got an, a sixteenth of an inch off to the side so we need to correct that as part of our drawing so that it looks a little bit more in tune to what we're going to try to finally have as our final design. So one of the tools that they give you in the Autodesk um, assembly is the MITRE option. So we're going to choose this MITRE option. 
We don't really need to change anything out of this. We're just going to move this off to the side a little bit. And we're just going to do the perimeter members. And we're going to miter all of those so that it cleans up the joints in between them. So you'll notice that there's an overhang from this member to this member. So when I click on this member, it's going to clean up that joint right there to where there's no longer an overhang. So there's a little bit of an overhang between these two. We're going to clean all of these up all the way around the perimeter. And that should give us something that's very similar to what our final bridge design is going to look like. Now we don't need to do the interior member supports because even though they're overlapping, that's not something that's going to be visible when we do our final drawing. So that is not something necessarily to, that we have to do. So as soon as we're done with this, we have one more bridge member to MITRE. We need to save this file. And again, this is going to be um, an assembly file in Autodesk Inventor. And again, we can zoom in as soon as it's done doing all of the MITRE joints. And we can actually see how it cleaned up all of those joints. And that's exactly what we're going to want to do when we cut our balsa wood members in our actual physical model. So after we do this, we're going to go up here to save and it's going to save it as assembly one IAM. We click yes to all, we click okay, and that's going to save our file.